I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today about what has to be one of the most exciting new features of Betaflight 3.2, D-Shot commands. What's D-Shot commands? It is the thing that lets you have your motors beep on a switch, so you can have a beeper on your quad, even if you don't have a beeper on your quad, and it's what enables you to do turtle mode. That's the thing where you can flip your quad over after you crash upside down. Yep, today you're going to learn how to do it. Stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to show you all the steps to get D-Shot commands working on your quad so you can take advantage of these super cool features. But before we do that, let me just show you the super cool features so you know what the payoff is at the end. And I'm going to do that using this quad. This is the Focus 220 frame. And by the way, I have to give a shout out to Kevin Hollis. Uh, he's the one who initially introduced me to Rocket City FPV and hooked me up with this frame. Uh, I just want to make, give him a little shout out here in this video. Here's the quad. And yes, it is powered up. And what I can do, there's no buzzer on this quad, take my word for it, but if I flip this switch, the motors start beeping. So I can have a beeper on my quad to help me find when it gets lost in the tall grass. Now that's pretty cool, but it's not the absolute most coolest thing that D-Shot commands can do. The most coolest thing they do is turtle mode. Let me show you what that is. The way turtle mode works is, let's say I've crashed upside down, and I don't want to go walk to pick my quad up. I'm going to flip a switch to enable turtle mode. You'll need to set that up, and I'll show you how. Uh, then I'm going to arm the quad. Now the quad is armed, the motors aren't spinning, that's because I'm in turtle mode. It works a little differently. And in fact, if I raise the throttle in turtle mode, nothing happens, and yaw, nothing happens. But if I use the pitch or roll stick, watch what happens. See, it'll start to spin the motors just on the side that, uh, is, that I'm pushing towards. So I'm rolling right here. And it only spins two motors because you can see the other two motors are kind of down in the grass and I don't want to like burn those ESCs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push to roll right and the quad will flip over. And then I just come out of turtle mode, rearm, and take off and fly away. Are you excited yet? Let's go inside. I'll show you how to set it up. So here's how you can get D-Shot commands working on your copter. The first thing is that you have to be running D-Shot. Obviously, if you're running multi-shot or one-shot, then D-Shot commands aren't going to work for you. The good news is that most, if not all, BL Heli S ESCs can run D-Shot. You might be saying, wait a minute, no, don't you have to remove a capacitor and all that stuff? Well, that's if you want to run the fastest version of D-Shot, D-Shot 600, and that's the most high-performance version. I would give up a little bit of performance that maybe you wouldn't even notice anyway to get these cool commands. So if you have an ESC that can't run D-Shot 600, then try running D-Shot 300 or D-Shot 150, and you can still do this. Just so you can see here in Betaflight, in the Configuration tab, you need to have D-Shot, selected, one of these D-Shot options selected, and that is the first step to using D-Shot commands. Next, you need to be running a version of BL Heli that supports D-Shot commands. And if you're running BL Heli 32, you can skip this part because all versions of BL Heli 32 support D-Shot commands. If you're running BL Heli S, then there are two versions that will work for you. So here I'm in the BL Heli Configurator Chrome app, uh, and if I connect and read setup from my ESCs, then what you would do is you would just check your version. Now I've got version 16.6.7 D-Shot command, and that version is one of the ones that'll work. If you don't have version 16.6.7, just hit flash all. Don't change this right here. Whatever it says right there, just leave it, and then select version 16.6.7 and hit flash, and it will flash all your ESCs. Now you're almost ready to use D-Shot commands, but there's one more thing to do, and that is in the firmware flasher, you need to flash your flight controller to Betaflight 320 Release Candidate 5, RC5. And you probably aren't running RC5 because RC5 at the time of this recording only came out like four days ago. The reason RC5 is so important is that the behavior of turtle mode changed in RC5. It got better. You, you saw how when I, when I moved the stick, only two of the motors spun to kind of flip the copter over because two of the motors were down in the dirt. Well, before RC5, when you armed the copter in turtle mode, all of the motors would try to spin. And those two motors that were down in the dirt would kind of, well, they would sometimes burn themselves out in an extreme case because they couldn't spin. And Anyway, RC5 is where you want to be if you want to use turtle mode. 
The next step then is to set up the modes. And here I've set up the beeper mode. Now setting up beeper to the to the motors with DSHOT commands is exactly the same as setting up a traditional beeper. You simply enable the beeper mode and you flip the aux switch uh, to, to make the motor start beeping. There's really no difference there. DSHOT commands is also the same, or uh, turtle mode is also the same. They're calling it flip over after crash. I don't know why turtle mode is perfectly descriptive, but hey, whatever, flip over after crash mode. Again, you're gonna set it up and you're gonna set it up with an aux switch so that it becomes active when you flip the switch. Now, if you don't know how to set up flight modes and how to cause your your aux switches on your transmitter to be output to the to the beta flight, I have a separate video on how to do that, and I'll link to it in the upper right. The short version, though, is if you have a Spectrum radio or if you have a FlySky radio, there's a very good chance that your aux switches are already set up and just not doing anything. So what you can do is you can go to the receiver tab and start flipping your switches randomly. All right, don't flip your arm switch, of course. Have your props off. And just look for one of these aux channels to move. And you may find that one of your switches moves aux 1 and another switch moves aux 2. And once you've discovered that one of those switches just happens to move aux 2, then you can go back to the modes tab and assign that and then just figure out, you know, this, this little indicator here shows you where the channel is. Just put the switch into the position you'd like it to be in when turtle mode is active and then move this slider so it covers that position and then you've, you've set up the mode. I hope that made sense. If not, go watch the video on how to set up flight modes. And that's it. Now you are ready to begin D-shot commanding, uh, turtle moding and, and beeping and you're, you're in the wonderful world of D-Shot commands, and isn't it great? I was flying, uh, I was racing last weekend, and I crashed a lot, and it was really exciting to be able to flip over without, uh, <laughs> without having to walk to get my quad. Um, I will say this, be careful with this. If your motors are jammed and you go bonkers with the sticks, you will burn a motor or an ESC. I'm not kidding. You can find pictures on the internet of people who've done it. So... When, you, when you're upside down, kind of think about which props are probably not obstructed and try and flip yourself that direction. And if you try to flip over and it doesn't immediately work, don't just keep trying because you will burn motors. I actually found it was much easier to flip myself over when I had a GoPro uh, mount on top of the quad because the quad would kind of balance on the GoPro and then two of the motors would be more likely to be clear. And especially for a freestyle pilot, it might be worthwhile to like run a GoPro mount on top of your quad, even if you're not actually running your GoPro, just to give you a little bit more something to flip over. Uh, the other thing you, you should do, uh, this is going to work much better if you have really durable props. Like I run Cyclone props on most of my quads and Cyclones, I just find that they hardly ever get bent down. I don't know why that is. And so it's hardly ever the case that if I crash and I spin the motors, I'm going to be whacking my own ESC with a prop a thousand times a second. Well, if you have lighter props that are more likely to bend downwards, you may want to think twice before using turtle mode. If a prop is bent or something, then you try to flip over, you damage stuff. Also, you know, if you're not confident about flying on bent props in general, like you're not sure that your filters or your D-gains are right, your motor's a little bit on the edge of too hot, just don't go there. You're going to smoke something. So, you know, there, there you go. All the precautions have been given. That's it for now. Now you know how to get D-Shot commands, turtle mode, ESC, beeper active on your quad. If you have any trouble with any of this, leave questions down in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy flying.